Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris heard Screech's parents are going out of town for their anniversary and shows up like he owns the place before they've left the house. He carelessly picks up Mrs. Powers' prized Elvis statue, making her scream she would die if anything ever happened to it. Mrs. Powers hands Screech a huge list of rules, including no girls and no parties, which Zach urges him to ignore. Slater says they can still have fun hanging out, doing guy stuff. Hold that thought. Jesse, a decent human, sees Violet getting harassed by her nerdy boyfriend Max and stands up for her. Max responds by forcing himself on Jesse. That's going to be important later. Hey, remember that guy stuff? Turns out to be this, which, okay. Okay, looks like a good time, I guess, even though surfing on the couch and dropping your nuts on the floor are probably against the rules. The girls show up to point and laugh at these losers. Screech tries to kick them out, but their dance moves are contagious, and they knock over the Elvis statue. Zack, who knows how important the statue is, stands there and does nothing to try and save it. Then decides now is a great time to try some fresh material. Looks like the king is dead. <laughs> Again. Screech passes out and has a nightmarish vision where he's visited by his deceased mother who died as a result of his negligence. Zack tells Screech not to worry because they'll get a replacement statue, even though he has no idea if one exists, where to buy it, or how much it might cost. Lisa miraculously finds an identical statue that costs $250, doing all of the legwork while Zack sat on his lazy blonde ass. Zack sees Max harassing his now ex girlfriend and decides to teach him a lesson. $250 lesson. Because robbing this nerd will definitely teach him to respect women. Zack organizes a poker game at Screech's house, breaking the house rules yet again, and everyone unsurprisingly loses all their money to Max, who is dressed like he works at a goddamn casino. Zack is down to his last dime when he gets a hand he proudly shows to all his friends with a big dumb grin like all great poker players do. Unable to come up with the $50 necessary to keep playing, Zack bets Screech's dog. Zack assures Screech he cannot lose with this hand and pressures Max into going all in for $250 against the value of this live animal. Zack has four queens, which would be great except for the fact that Max beats him with four kings. Max takes the dog and Screech drifts into a catatonic state of shock. Also, there are 42 poker hands that can beat four queens, you fucking genius. But don't worry, Zack assures everyone he'll teach Max another lesson. That lesson? Stand behind Slater while he threatens Max and takes all the risk of getting caught assaulting a peer when the principal shows up. Max says he'll give the dog back if he can get a date with Jesse. Zack tells Max he'll happily make one of his best female friends spend a night with a guy he knows abuses women and sexually violated her yesterday. But not before Zack announces they're going to have a party at Screech's house. That's right, Zack finally gets to have his party. Only now he's charging an entrance fee so they can buy the statue and maybe make some extra cash on the side. When Jesse says she won't go on Zack's arranged date, he guilts her into it by reminding Screech of the dog he lost to make him cry. Zack ignores Jesse, begging for help at the party. Help me! And they get enough cash to buy the statue just in time for Screech's mom to come home early and catch them. Zack convinces her it's a party for their anniversary thanks to a banner he rigged, because apparently he knew they'd probably get caught but still had the party anyway. Let's review. Zack Morris tried to get his best friend to have a party against his mother's rules. Did nothing to stop her statue from shattering. Did nothing to help find a replacement. Lost all his friend's money in a poker match. Gambled away Screech's dog. Forced his best friend to go on a date with a known sex offender. And threw a party anyways knowing he'd get caught. Zack Morris is trash. Zack Morris is trash. <laughs>